Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, I just came across an awesome teaching moment. Um, this blondie beside me, behind me, is my dog Koa. And uh, we just got back from a walk and I was doing a regular um, tick check on her like I normally do. And I found a tick, but something tells me that this tick has been there longer than just the walk that we went on today. Um, so I really don't know too many other folks that hate these insects more than I do. Um, actually, that's not true. I don't really think anybody likes a tick. They all make us all very just wiggly and ugh, just they're just gross. And then to know that they carry the diseases that they carry, despite being as small as they are, whatever. You get my point. Okay, so anyway... Um, I already got the tick off, but I just wanted to talk about what I, how I did it and what I did with the tick and that sort of thing because there's a lot of um, information out there, um, especially since it's Lyme Disease Awareness Month, that people just, it gets kind of confusing, you know, what to do with the tick and whatever. So, okay, I carry this handy little tool with me um, all the time. It's called a tick key. Literally, it's called a tick key. And, um... This keeps you from having to ever even touch the thing because who wants to do that? Um, it's super easy to use. You basically put the tick right through the fat part of the key and then gently pull the key down to where that little piece, as you can see the very top of the tick key, sorry, right there, the um, most narrow part is basically where you want to kind of grasp the tick and then from there you will gently pull back um, and the tick just like anything else is going to get irritated um, when it's messed with so this particular tick actually had um, uh, like I said I think it may have actually been uh, latched onto her ear um, yesterday and I just we just missed it so um, uh, because the tick usually takes a little bit longer of a period of time besides the very short walk that we just went on to latch on and um, this particular tick was was holding on strong and he was pretty embedded um, and the goal is to get the head out as well as the rest of the body um, not just ripping the tick out of um, you know off um, so the head is what we're really um, focused on getting out of the body if it has actually um, you know implanted itself in so what I did is I took the tick out with the tick key and then I took this glass jar this is an old mayonnaise jar and I specifically used the same color jar because everybody else in the house knows that this is for ticks if we ever collect them so it just means that this glass jar will not get thrown away unless I do it or my husband does it because there's been a tick inside so it just so happens to be a lime green top that <laughs> that just worked out um, it's actually um, I'm trying to think it was a primal mayonnaise jar <laughs> so what this is so um, I put the tick in the jar and then I will fill it with straight up alcohol so this will kill the tick but it will also preserve the tick and because the tick was embedded in my dog um, and knowing what I know about Lyme and all of that kind of stuff I actually want to send the tick off and get it tested um, and so what I will do is then actually um, mail the tick I'll, I'll order a kit um, and I will actually try and link that company to um, uh, below uh, with this video so that if you're interested in doing that, you can send the tick off and find out if the tick actually is carrying Lyme or any other co-infections um, because they're just as bad as the Lyme bacteria itself. So that way I can kind of gauge if obviously she was exposed or not and then, um, you know, take measures from there to keep her from getting sick um, so after I took the tick out and after I put the tick in the glass jar I did two things I took a bottle of uh, thieves oil where are we thieves essential oil um, I put it on a q-tip and I rubbed it on the spot that uh, the tick had come out of 
It's a little hard to find at first because um, obviously her ears have fur on them so it wasn't the easiest but I started to recognize there's a little bit of a red spot and then I put some oregano on top of it um, so both of those are antibacterial and basically antimicrobial um, agents so they will help to kill off any um, thing else that was kind of being carried by the tick um, at least uh, you know, from, um, what am I trying to say? Um, yeah, so basically we're just trying to minimize the, the crud that the tick carried over onto the dog and hope that some of that actually gets into the spot where the um, tick had uh, bit Koa. So, um, and then I will keep an eye on her for the next, well, I'm with her all the time, so all, every day, but keeping this in mind, seeing if she's more lethargic, seeing if she, um, you know, just seems more uh, stiff or just, you know, a myriad of different things if, if basically she seems sick. Um, and like I said, I'm going to go ahead and um, probably send off the tick, thinking that it might actually have been there longer than I thought it would have or, or thought, it, thought that it was. So I can find out for real if uh, we need to take further measures besides just observation so uh, okay that is my video for today talking about um, lime and tick removal and um, that's it for now okay see ya